Welcome back, shop rats. Today we're back on Fat Fanny and we're going to start assembling the grill and get ready to put it on the car. Man, I've waited so long for this. I'm so excited to do this and get to share it with y'all. Let's watch the show intro. I'll see you in five seconds. I'm Mike. This is my car's shop. Definitely fun stuff here, I'm telling you. <clears throat> I think my respirator is uh, <clears throat> on its way out. I'm really feeling it today. Normally I don't. <clears throat> hmm, can't remember which way those are supposed to go on there. <clears throat> yeah, just like that. Okay. Had it sideways is what I'm saying. Okay. One at a time. <clears throat> Not going to... Uh, Get too carried away yet get everything kind of jockeyed and fitted in place fitted it it did it did it did it <clears throat> there's little adjustments to be made once it's on there oh. apparently that thing is being a pot liquor It's a lack of ragu. It's on there. Okay, ragu isn't on there. It's in there, but you get the point. Anyway, we'll flip you over here to time lapse and uh, you can watch this go together. wondering how it attaches because I know some of you are there's just these little cages back here like that with screws that go against there to hold it in place and that's all there is to it just like that okay let's get the grill bars on <clears throat> one two three Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Oh, yeah. So now there's some rubber baby buggy bumpers that go on the ends here. I've got to go get those and get them installed. That's what protects it uh, from the body. The body protects whatever from it um, scratching the fenders all up. So let me go dig those out of the package and we'll get those installed. So here they are. There's four pads like this that go down here on the bottom to protect the bumperette from the uh, grill itself. And then there's all these little things which are a pain in the butt to install. I did one. They go here. And there's one here. And oh, there's supposed to be one there too. It's just still in there. So anyway, there's two per grill end, which means that there is 12 total, I hope. They're brand new, all from Bob Drake. Uh, if you're looking for old Ford parts, I highly recommend going to Bob Drake first. Uh, I've been doing business with him for years. This is the second car of my own, but I've also used a lot of Drake stuff on customer cars, and it's always top quality. All the grill bars, all the chrome, everything, all the stainless on the car itself. I think I bought 90% of that stuff from Bob Drake. Uh, some of it came from Max. Max was acquired recently, Max, M-A-C-S. Max was recently acquired by Eklund Automotive, but uh, I talked to them actually yesterday about some things, and uh, they're still good to deal with too, but Bob Drake's my number one choice. So I'll walk you through how I install these. Doesn't mean it's the right way, it's just my way. I like to slime them up just a little bit. Then I put them in there. With the, It's got an oblong piece on there. I put that in one side down and then I take my screwy driver and just shove that down in to the hole like that while I'm pushing down trying to work it in there 
much like that. And it's in, like Flynn, I hope. And I try to pull on the backside a little bit too to just work it into place. So I'm not going to make you watch a dozen of them, but I've never seen anybody demonstrate how to do that. So for those that watch this and you want to know, that's how I do it. There we go. Six of them done. Lather, rinse, repeat on the other side. About halfway done on this side, and I just wanted to pause and say I was using just a regular flat screwdriver at first, and uh, it wasn't working real well. So I went and got a little bitty one, and uh, that seems to be working a little bit better. And then when they're down in, I just take and put my knife on there and tap it with a screwdriver handle just to make sure they're in all the way. So uh, that's working pretty well now. I'm struggling less on this side than I did on the other side. There we go with that one. Now, I don't remember if they're supposed to be a rubber pad here or not but i think what i'm going to do is cut i have some some thin rubber you know, it doesn't look like it maybe i'll put a small gasket in there i also need to tap that just a little bit that bolt hole's got a little dimple on it i should have caught that in the prep process but i didn't it's all right but we're getting there so now i'm gonna have to be real careful that i don't lose these dang things but that's where they go um, and then that there bolts on to that right there There she is for those of you who haven't seen it on the channel before i know we have a ton of new people here my 47 ford it was a basket case roof was caved in something about caved in roofs apparently um frame was bro not broken but had some bad spots repaired the frame um yeah and uh, here she she is um i was talking to uh Birds Do It Yourself Garage yesterday saying it dawned on I was talking also to Mark, you've met on the channel before, that it dawned on me yesterday. I've had this car since 2007. It's when I brought it home, six or seven. Um, got the bulk of the work done about, we've been here for 13 years. So it was previous. So let's say 14 years ago and it's set for 14 years and I didn't do much until 2020 when everything was shut down and I painted the fenders and stuff. But basically, this is a car that I spared no expense on. Uh, I purchased, nice bird crap, I purchased almost everything brand new for this car. It's a brand new Chevrolet engine, brand new Turbo 350 tranny. The only thing that's not new that hasn't been replaced or rebuilt is the uh, steering box and uh, it's got a Nova rear end in it. So I've had this brand new car sitting in the garage for years that I've never finished. And uh, I, I said last year I was going to get it done, and I didn't, but we did make a lot of progress. Well, this is the last piece. I have the hood for it. I don't care about the hood right now. The hood is untouched. It needs some work. We'll get to that. But right now, if I get the grill in, Becky and I finish the wiring, put the seats back in, we can start driving this car. So anyway, enough yakking. Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's put the parts on is what I'm saying. I got little flutters in my belly, not so much because I'm nervous. I'm just excited. I've had this on here many times before, obviously, for various reasons. But uh, let's see if we can just scratch the heck out of our fenders. Hmm, why is that not? We're off. I think our fenders have slipped in a little bit because this is what kind of determines the spacing on the fenders. Let's uh, see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to have to very, very carefully shove that in and spread those apart a little bit. So let's get these bolts down here on the floor. Probably should have wore grubby clothes, but I knew I was working on something nice today. So I get tired of being in greasy grimies all the time. This is all good. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
my holes kind of sort of lined up there and then give them a shove apart it's almost a two-person job but we got it there we go the nice thing is it's got so much spring pressure it almost holds it in place so that's a good thing and we didn't scratch anything I was thinking about uh, what's going on in there I'm not sure my inner fender lip is not lining up on that side let's get a bolt over here first <laughs> I had it all lined up the heck there we are I see what happened was I picked up on it with my knee come on get through there well golly gee wally right there I see what's going on it's not lining up on the inner fender lip all right I'm gonna have to get a smaller bolt I really want to get some bolts through that oh I see maybe if I pushed in a little harder oh, she ain't going all right I'm gonna use some smaller bolts to get started and then we'll put these in all right, by no means is it bolted on there, but I at least got some long bolts that are smaller through there now so that I can uh, work to get these bolts that actually belong in there. Where's the other ones? Lined up. And I must be down there. But anyway, so I'm going to get my blanket under there and I got to start the laborious task of trying to get these bolts on. So I'm not going to waste your time with that, but you get the idea. It's getting on there and uh, it's looking great. Got two bolts in, so that's good. Now there are clamps that go up in here that I need to put on next, and then we'll get the other two bolts in. But I gotta dig those out of the box over there, and we'll put those on, I'll show you those. So here they are. They go between the fender, and they hook into the grill, and they pull the grill back tight to the body, like so. And then you tighten them up. And there are two spots where they go, like so. So it's very intuitive where they belong and you just put your bolts in and tighten them down I may put a I'm not sure yet I was thinking I might put a little steel plate in there we'll just tighten them up and see what they do wouldn't hurt to put a little piece of metal in there in some ways but it's not the way the factory was Okay, there we go. Just like so. Lather, rinse, and repeat on the other one. And then do the other side. I'm gonna find my little spot. That's right. There's a cutout in the fender for that. Okay, it's in there that needs to be snugged up but good enough we'll do the other side now and then we can work on getting the other bolts in and that right there my friends is the dream that little bumperette turned out exactly the way I wanted it to of course I'd seen it on the car many times but I hadn't seen it on the car painted and I really really like that look could have maybe made it stick out just a little more but I really wanted it to follow the contour of the grill and the grill bars that was my design. I really like that. Car as dirty as a dirty thing right now. But it's the first it's been out since last fall. So, yeah, wow, that looks amazing. Oh, finally, man, oh man. It's been a long time coming. 
Okay, so I went and finally found these parts. This is the uh, hood latch assembly plate and then just a uh, kind of like an air director to help direct air from the grill up through the windshield because of the way the hood comes over the car here. And I searched for quite a while. I couldn't, I couldn't remember where I put them. I know where they always used to be, so I was puzzled. And I looked upstairs and couldn't find them there. And oh, I bet they're in a tote in the back room with all the engines. And so I went in the back room and looked and forgot that I had already brought the tote up here a couple weeks ago. So anyway, they were in there. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to get these cleaned up and uh, see where they're at, see what the status is. Okay, so this was really nice, but it's been kicking around for 15 years, so I need to touch that up again, and this has not been painted yet, so we need to deal with that. The other thing I need is there is a special part that goes on the hood. Uh, it's a bullet kind of thing that goes down here with a spring and a washer on it that bolts to the hood itself. I'm missing that off of my hood. Not that I'm putting the hood on it anytime soon, but... Um, I haven't even touched the hood. It's still in its original blue. I guess it's bird, per, bird poop in blue. But anyway, my point is the part that's supposed to go right in here for the uh, the hood um, pin spring assembly that goes into the latch is missing. I don't have that. So I've got to find that somewhere or if somebody has one they want to sell me, let me know. I'd appreciate it. I'm not in any rush. Like I said, I haven't touched the hood. The hood does need some work. Um, I worked on it some already, but it, it was split in a few places and malformed. And uh, I'm going to do it a little differently than what I did. But anyway, um, I do have brand new gorgeous chrome hinges for this. So, you know, when it goes on there, it's going to be really nice. Boys and girls, that's a big step forward for Fat Fanny, that's for sure. Couldn't be happier with the way that turned out. Just uh, as you notice, we took it up and down the road for just a little drive because I haven't exercised it in a long time. And uh, it's the most complete the car's ever been since it's been up and down the road. And quite frankly, it hasn't been up and down the road since probably 2020. Uh, yep, I think the last time I drove it, it didn't even have the front fenders on it. So big step forward. Definitely. I really appreciate you being here and uh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll be back on this one again soon. I'm really hoping that we can get this car on the road this year. Rock! <laughs>